uh, are available for you guys. They're really cool. Definitely check those out. Thank you very much to Miyuki Kitsunebi for making those for us. They are pretty cool, and I hope you guys enjoy them. So you guys can you guys can sharp champ whenever you want in uh, in chat, and uh, and that's available for you if you have the the free add-ons, all that good stuff. I had some other stuff that I wanted to talk about, but I don't remember what it is because I'm freaking out about my drop frames, which sucks. Uh, I'm sure I had some other stuff. Sharp champ, Birchmila, as in champion. There you go. Uh, you can see it in chat there. It's pretty cool. Anyway, I had some other stuff I want to talk about, but I don't remember what it is because I'm just, I'm messed up. So we're going to get into Akami, and if I remember it later, great. Um, and if I drop a bunch of, if I drop a bunch of frames... I'll leave it up to you guys. If I drop too many frames that you can't enjoy the stream, we'll just turn it off. And if you guys want to deal with it, then we'll do that too. And I'm going to stop worrying about it and try to put on the best show that I can because that is the way that I do things. Let's get into the game. Thank you guys again very much for supporting the channel for October. We are well funded for October. We've got some cool stuff coming for you guys. Uh, oh, sub day is coming up as well. Sub day is in a few weeks. Uh, so if you guys uh, want to keep your subs active for sub day, we'll be talking about all kinds of stuff, including probably revisiting our Court of the Present rewards, uh, if you guys are at all interested in that as well. Let's jump in. Ah, uh, yeah, we want to jump here to Shinsu Field. Shinshu Field. Now, does this tell us what we were doing? We didn't get very much done last time. We've only been able to play Okami through a couple of short streams today and for, uh, uh, Thursday. Um, so we're just at the beginning of the game. We're, we're learning how stuff works. All that good jazz as I drop all the frames continu continually. Let's keep moving and see what we can find. Of course, I probably wouldn't notice drop frames from your end because my internet is already so bad it happens to myself. While I appreciate that, there are people who who will and do, uh, corn, and it, it's unacceptable anyway. Like it just it just sucks. But good to have you in, corn. Good to see you. Oh, hey! Found our warm up for the day. How are you, Corn? How have you been? How are things in the land of Corn 312? And Savior, I saw you pop in as well. Good to see you. Good to have you. I need to get a dodge of some description or something. Also, I need a block on ability, which I don't have. This guy is a jerk. Court says things are good. I'm glad to hear it, mate. I'm gonna just get you out of the ground. How about that? Ah. There we go. Saber says, I'm keeping what I said up. If a brush pun can be made, it will be used. Also, yeah, Okami. Yeah. It's a great game. So we have... Hang on. That's not the button. We have a map. I believe Ethan said we have a map, and there's stuff we need to do on that map. Yeah, we need to go... To the Firework Vendor's house, we need to go to the Shrine, we need to go to the far side, past the dojo. Okay, let's do that. Let's see what's over here. Oh yeah, look at that. We missed, ooh, we missed pigs. Hello, pig friends. You guys eat seeds, right? Yeah. This is a good way to start the stream. 
Arch Vila throwing five dollars into my hat, and he says, "Tried and failed to input anonymous art." Or she says, "Tried and failed to input anonymous artwork for username." Oh, well, thank you, Arch Vila, for tossing five dollars into my hat, put it, pushing us towards our Arttober stretch goal. It's support like that that allows me to do this every day for you guys. Thank you much. And also, I have the wrong, uh, the wrong alert box up because that should have had audio on it. So give me just a second, guys. Uh, I need to tap out of the game and sidle over to my alert box and turn on the alerts with uh, sounds so that I can be alerted <clears throat> when an alert goes off. We'll do this. Boop. There we go. We'll go over here. Be dupe. Go back over here, and then that should be fixed, hopefully. Uh, so I'm gonna repeat that just to make sure that it worked. Thank you, Birchmila. Actually, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna repeat that one because it might mess with the bar. I'm gonna repeat Jackal's host from last night. So let's just see if this has audio now. Yes. So kind of you to join me. Right. Okay. Thank you for your patience, chat. We'll get back on again. So, we fed the pigs, got some praise, we're good there, let's keep moving. Do, do, do. Now more with the host. You to join me. Thank you, Nalmore. Very much appreciate it, dude. Richmila says, and now I must go. Well, thank you for stopping by, Gracie. Thank you for uh, tossing some money at me, and hope to see you again soon. By the way, Gracie, uh, quick before you go, can I get an art update tonight? I'd appreciate it. Thank you much. You obtained Phoenix. Scroll drawn by a wandering artist. Contains useful information. That's not the button I wanted to push. By the way, I looked up like a like a menu speed and text speed, and there there just isn't one, unfortunately. So we gotta we gotta just do it normally. Wildlife will begin to return to areas that have been restored. Feed these animals their favorite foods, and you will receive praise. Simple enough. All right. We've got some corrupted area over here we can rectify. Ooh, we've got a... Crack in the ground, we can't do anything with presently. Okay. Noted. Also, train. Can I do something with this? Mm, not yet. I don't know where the bridge would go, so I don't really want to mess with it too much. And then, Ethan wants us to go down here. There might be something cool down here. Virtumila mumbles something about coffee and addresses as she lurks away. Fair enough, I suppose. Whatever you, uh, whatever you're having trouble with, I hope it gets sorted soon. Crazy pants. What is this? This is a guardian statue, but I don't think anyone's been here in years. It's in pretty bad shape. I feel kind of sorry for it. Why don't you leave an offering? Okay. How do I... How do I offer it? Bye. Uh, oh. Oh no, that was me. Uh, do I have something to offer? I don't think I do. Can I offer a pig? Can I can I run upstairs and grab a pig and bring it to the offering statue? I don't think that's what the game wants me to do. What's this? Moon shrine. People purify themselves here before visiting the moon shrine. Moon cave. Okay. Hello. Oh dear me, dear me, this is awful. 
Priest of the Moon Shrine, Mika. Micah. Ah, a most welcome guest has wandered into our shrine. Your timing is immaculate, Wolf. I need to speak to you. Uh, beg pardon? Outside this lake, uh, outside is Lake Harami, Nippon's largest lake. In the middle of it, there was an old shrine called the Moon Cave. But it's completely disappeared, vanished into thin air. It enshrines the wicked demon that Nagi and Shiranui once defeated. It housed Tsukuyomi, the fabled sword that keeps the demon at bay. That demon, its name was... No, I'll be cursed if I say it. Anyway. The point is, what on earth has happened to the shrine? It's guarded day and night by the Tao Master Waka. On the one occasion he has to go back to the city, this happens. Oh dear. So what exactly happened, Brendo? Lately, there have been monsters haunting these parts as well. Yeah, I've noticed that. Those mischief-making monsters are the worst. I expect this... I expect this is their door. Well, maybe not this time, but they still need to be dealt with. I've already prepared a wanted list for them. You just gonna give me a shinobi contract? Alright, let's talk. Mika's Monster Wanted Notebook. Onimaru the Incorrigible, Biwamaru the Vandal, Akuzo the Interloper, Izo the String Cutter, and Toya of the Short Temper. Okay. The gods will have marked all of those wanted monsters with a sign. You'll know as soon as you lay eyes on them. However, they're very cautious. They only come out at night. Will you go put this list up somewhere obvious, Wolf? I'm sure some brave soul will step up to challenge. Step up to the challenge. You obtained Mika's Monster's Notebook. Okay. May the gods protect you always. Hey, this is a sweet job for us, Amy. Let's keep this list handy and take care of all those mischief-making monsters. Ourselves. I mean, we're gonna run into them whether we like it or not. We might as well kill them. So we might as well collect the reward, too. Yeah, fair point, Nisun. Anyway, seems they only come out at night. Let's give it a shot. All right. Cool. We're gonna go mess up some monsters at nighttime. Hey, look, it's nighttime. Hey, look, it's dudes. Biwamaru the Vandal appeared. Oh. What's with this monster? It's got an exercising arrow stuck in it. Exercising arrows are sacred relics for driving away evil. That means somebody really wanted to get rid of this monster. Come on, Amy, finish it off. Don't let it get away. All right. Hi. I'm going to need you to not. Viwamaru the Vandal defeated. Done. Oh, that's a cat, that's a cat. Yeah. That took care of his homies, too. I'll take it. Yo. That was one of those monsters from the Monster Notebook. And we just happened to find it. Boy, you never know what you'll find next. You know that Monster Notebook you have? Well, you can cross out the wanted monster you've taken care of. The monster you just finished off is on this wanted list. Go ahead and strike the name off the list with your brush. Oh, cool! Those people are the vandal. Goodbye. Oh, come on. I was trying! Don't be a jerk, he's in. There we go. That's one last monster. At this rate, it won't be long before you can cross them all off. Once you defeat all the wanted monsters, go see the priest. Maybe he'll give you a reward. I would hope so, given that that's a good bit of work. Whoa, okay. Well, we can go through, so the cave is still there. Yep. 
Hmm, interesting. Huh? We passed under the shrine gate and followed the narrow path. So where the heck's the moon cave? It should be right here, is it not that? Hey, what's with, what's with that big old mountain over there? Since when did that appear in the middle of the lake? Sivir says, guess uh, Bi uh, Biwamara, did I spell that right? Didn't have the ink to keep his cohorts up. Ha! They say the moon cave is where Nagi slew the legendary beast, but that huge mountain is way too big for the moon cave, I remember. I mean, just look at it. It's massive. That's what she said? <sighs> Can't go that way. Youch, what the heck? There's some kind of barrier here. Never seen one so powerful before. We'd better all uh we'd be better off staying away from this thing. Yeah. Okay. So is there anything we give a shit about on this island currently, Isun? Like, obviously we'll be back here to kick Orochi's ass, but, like, right now is there anything that we care about? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Go. Here's a thing. There's two things. This means treasure. Oh, that's the only thing. Okay, great. Bop. You obtained a stray bead. Find all the scattered beads and get a special reward. That's in literally a New Game Plus weapon. If you find all the beads in the game and you get the last bead from the last encounter, then in New Game Plus, you can use uh, a special weapon. So I'm not super worried about the beads in this playthrough, given that we're not doing New Game Plus. But if we find them, great. If we find most of them, great. Oh, come on. Check the map. Okay, yes, we need to go over to the ca to the cave with the lake in it, or the lake with the cave in it, and then we need to go to the fire guy's house again. Okay. Go. At least Amaterasu is, like, fast, you know? Like, don't need to worry about, um, running cross country. Ooh, ooh. Good job, Dingus. As I was saying, don't need to worry about running cross country. With, uh, with Amaterasu, because Amy's quick. Give me that demon fang! Dope. Much better. I'm not so bad once I warm up. Something something beads like feathers? Well. I'm afraid that's a reference I don't get, Savior. Ah, door's open now. Great. Hello, friend. No, 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 Tama. That can't be right. It shouldn't be doing that. What's happening? No, no, no. I checked and double-checked my formula. What is happening? No, no, no. Hey, you there. Got a minute? Hmm? Your head's on fire, friend. 
Whoa, what's this little wisp doing here? Hey, who you calling a wisp? I'm Isun, the wandering artist. Well, well, well. You're a little ball of fire, aren't you? I'm Tama. Tama the flame pyrotechnic. Flaming pyrotechnist. That's what they call me. Flaming pyrotechnist Tama. Listen up, you two. I'm just about to set off a humdinger of a doozy. Not sure that's how that works, but okay. Take a look at the formula I posted on the wall. Uh, posted on the wall there. Okay. My whole career as a pyrotechnicist has led to that formula. It's for a little firework I've dubbed the Midnight Wonder Boy. Okay. There's only one problem. Even though I know the formula is sound, it's not working right yet. I know. Listen, pup. You've got a good. You've got good eyes. Fiery eyes. Smoldering eyes. I, are you? Are you hitting on me, or are you? Okay. Maybe your red hot glare is just what I need to set this off. Feast your eyes on the greatest display of wor the world has ever seen. Hold on to your hats, kids. Here I go. The brightest constellation in the sky, the Midnight Wonder Boy. He's just throwing a lot of bombs into a thing. Okay. We do it. Neat! Holy smoke! Yeah, give him credit, guys. That was a good firework. That Tama may have a few screws loose, but boy, can he deliver. Hmm? That light again. Oh, it's another constellation, Emmy. New friend? New friend! Awesome! Eh. Come on. Eh. New friend! Pink friend! Pink friend with fiery little friends. Alright. Bakugami. Ah, Amaterasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. Too often, it is easy to forget that which we cannot see. Hidden away, I had lost track of you, but now my soul is at ease. I, Bakugami, god of explosive force, alright, lend my power to your cause. Use the cherry bomb to lay waste to foes and obstacles alike. Hey, did another brush technique just come back to you? That was Bakugami, the god of explosions. His technique is called Cherry Bomb. Tama's enthusiasm must have awakened the god's power in you. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's give that Cherry Bomb a try. What about that cracked wall over there? Why don't you try a Cherry Bomb on it? But be careful. <clears throat> There's, um... There's several uh, cracks that we found in uh, Shinsu Field that we could probably bomb now, so that's pretty great. Whoa, look at that! It blasted that cracked wall to smithereens. That cherry bomb is one destructive technique. I mean, just think what it could do to monsters. It's gonna be tricky handling something that powerful. But I bet you'll be using it all the time once you master it. Probably. Because it's cool. Hello, friend. Pop. Ooh! You obtained a rat statue. One of the 13 Zodiac treasures. It is posed whimsically. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I know where two other cracks are. 
So we're gonna go, okay, Ben. Have boom. Or not. Kid has access to explosives now. Yeah. Probably not the wisest idea to give me access to explosives, but they did it anyway, so. Not gonna complain. Go. Good source of money in those fights, too. There's a crack down here. Go on. Yeah. You obtained an exorcism slip. Paper depicting holy incantations slightly damages nearby enemies. Nice. Another one of these. This is a guardian statue, but. I don't think anyone's been here in years. It's in pretty bad shape. I feel kind of sorry for it. Why don't you leave an offering? I'd like to, but I don't know what offering I'm supposed to give. I don't I don't have anything for this yet, unfortunately. But I do know that there's another... Oh, come on! Thank you. I know that there's another uh, hole with which to explode over here. So we'll go take a look at that. Gentlemen, Joe Gaff with the host. Of you to join me. Thank you very much, Joe Gaff. Good to see you. Welcome on into you and yours. How are you today, dude? Playing some Okami in preparation for Odeon tonight. You obtained Coral Fragment. Hunk of Coral said to have been brought from the Dragon Palace. Dragon Palace? Okay. You need to learn more about the Dragon Palace, clearly. Quinn says, okay, I'm back from surprise chores involving cats. Welcome back. Good to have you. Can we just like... Nope. Hmm. Can I, like, restore the bridge somehow? Nope. I mean, I can't swim for very long, so... I can't do anything with that yet. It says there's something here that I need to do before going back to Kamiki Village, though. Um, can I just use Rejuvenate on the bridge? Would that do anything? No. Hmm. Oh, there's a giant thing here that I can read. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. To Agatha Forest. This waterway leads to Agatha Forest. It's the most green and fertile place in this region. I heard the villagers used to take the ferry to the forest long ago. Okay. Is that what I needed? No. Yeah, thank you, Ethan. We're glad that you exist, Yoga. Can I restore the boat, maybe? No. Can I draw in another boat? 
Oh. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do. I got the forest port. The ferry between Shinshu Field and Agatha Forest docks here. The ferry used to run frequently, but it's been out of service ever since the water level dropped. Well, Emmy, I think we've seen about all there is to see here in Shinshu Field. Okay, there we go. Maybe it's time we checked in on Sakia back in Kibiki Village. Alright, let's go! Cleaned up the village, uh, we cleaned up the field nicely. Now it's time to head back this way. Boop. Do, 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 We can bloom the trees now, which is huge. Wow, what's all this? The village is just bustling with activity. Wonder what's going on? Let's find out. Hello, friend. Oh, been sent to do the shopping, have you, pup? Do some shopping? Yes. Get an herb feed bag, so we have two of everything. That's really all I want right now. We're fine. Thanks, friendo. Take a drink, guys. It's that time again. As ever. Let's grow this. Or bloom it. There we go. Ah, yes. Spontaneous bloom. What are you so happy about? Ah, what a joy to see life returning to the land. Just 14 more to go. We will be blessed with a miracle when all the trees are in bloom. Alright. We want to bloom some trees. That's fine with me. The trees are pretty. This whole game is pretty. There's 15 trees in Kimiki that need to be bloomed. We've done two of them. Pokemon. Ah. The camera is the worst part of this game. You can tell it's a bit dated by the camera work. Really? Okami is very pretty, Savior, I agree. Eleven more to go. Do, 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 do. Here. This one. Ah, yes. That's six, I believe. Here's seven. Halfway done. Oh, we got that one too, so eight. Nine. Ten. Oh, we have enough for the thing. Hang on. I hit the wrong button again. Because I am a dingus. Let's get more Astral Pouch. Ah, yes. Beautiful. So now this fruit won't go to waste. We can carry two revives, not just one. There we go. Those cherry blossom trees have dropped every single fruit under the sun except cherries. Yeah. It happens, corn. I think there's some up here.
Yep. Boop. Boop. And this fruit can now be put in the second natural power. So it's great. Works out. I want this one to bloom. I hecked it. Bloom damage. There we go. Good. There's one here. I've lost count, but by that by that noise we got them all. So let's go see what this miracle is. I think that's all of them. Also, now I want cherries. And I don't like cherries. And a friendo. Every single withered tree in this village is now in full bloom. Now all we must do is wait. Wait for the miracle to take place. Okay. Sure, friendo. Whatever you say. Let's go bloom uh, Sakia's tree. Oh, it's already okay. Hey, Sakia, my little blossom. Really soon? You're looking mighty fine, thanks to us. Dot. Scottson says, I messed with the DM's plants on Friday. I had to roll double perception and got two nat 20s and blew his plants to dust. Nice. Hey, why didn't she say something? Hmm, come to think of it, I haven't seen her around lately. I mean, we just got here. She didn't kick the bucket, did she? Come on, Sakia. Let's see that pretty, pretty little face of yours. I know. Let's ask old Mr. Orange what's going on. Eh, fair, fair question. Mr. Orange is up on the sacred deck, I think. I think he's up here. Night time. Huh. He's not up here. Oh, come on. Found him. At last, at last the answer to all my prayers. All the village's trees have sprung back to life. It is time to harness the power that dwells within the good earth. Yes, it is time for the Konohana Shuffle. Pardon me? I shall summon back the spirit of the divine tree, Konohana. Sake of Valor. Nice. But first, I must break my vow of temperance. I shall gingerly sip this sake, and soon we shall see blossoms. That is the opposite of a ginger sip. Oh, yes, yes! Indeed. Hey, Gramps, you okay? You got a real weird look in your eyes. Snowball, Isu, what are you about to- what you're about to see is the stuff of legends. <laughs> Amaterasu is done. Behold, the secret of secrets, I give you the Konohana Shuffle. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, I hacked it. <laughs> My bad, guys. It didn't work, not even a bit. The tree was supposed to become a blaze of blossom. I'm working on it. Is it going off my shop with nothing but a sham? No, I just hacked it. No, it cannot be. I won't give up. I shall keep dancing till Konohana blossoms. All right. Once again, the secret of secrets, the Konohana shuffle. Let's try that again, shall we? It's basically a QTE. Okami style. The animation of this game is so good. Well, he do it, guys. He do it. General Joe guys says, Behold the shuffle. You put your left foot in, you put your left foot out. You put your left foot in, and then after more sake, you shake it all about. Indeed. Rest of the game say badge penmanship? Oh, yeah, no. On the plus side, he revived, uh, he revived Sakia, so credit to him. Ah, great Amaterasu. Sakia? You're alive, and you, uh, look very nice. Little bug friend, I see you are full of spunk as always. Not a word choice I would have chosen. I also owe this elderly gentleman my deepest thanks. What bravery! Mere words cannot express the depth of my gratitude. Okay, then. Thanks to you all, I have been restored and re-energized. <laughs> He's a gulp. <laughs> of course, the one who deserves my thanks and respect the most is none other than the glorious god Amaterasu. Praise be to you. <laughs> well, thanks, I guess? I cannot guarantee that it will mean salvation for all of Nippon, but if you restore the Guardian saplings spread about the land, you too will benefit from the power that results. I will remain in Kamiki, praying for your mission's success. How I look forward to gazing upon you again. May the fresh scent of flowers protect you always. I believe now, Vor, you mean peaches. Oh man, what now? New constellation, new friend hype. Who is our friend this time? Come on. It is a monkey. It is a monkey with a flute. Ow. Well done, dude. You do it. Hasugami. Ah, Amaterasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. Long have I hidden myself here among the, the nature of Kamiki. But the time has come for I, Hasugami, proud member of the Hanagami Trio of Flora Gods, to reveal myself. May my power be of assistance on your grave quest.
Which is what? What's your power, friendo? Holy smokes, that was Hasugami! With the water lily power, you can create lily pads on water. You can use them to cross any body of water. Let's try it out. Come on, this way, Amy. Hmm? What are we doing, Isun? I've been eyeing that treasure chest out there for some time. Why don't you create some lily pads here? Make them like stepping stones all the way to the, to the island. The water lily brush technique creates lily pads on water. All you gotta do is draw circles on the water. Water, excuse me. Come on, for a while, let me see you work wonders with that brush of, your, of yours, excuse me. So now you can play Frogger. Yes, Scotsman. Yes, that's it. Dope. Hey, 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 wipe that smirk off your face, Furball. I'm a dog! How? Okay. At least we don't have to worry about getting wet anymore. True. I know. Now that you have this new power, let's use it to travel a bit further out of the village. Remember the waterway leading to the forest that I told you about? Yeah. Oh, you want to go into the forest? Okay, sure. Our little Sakia is back to her old peppy self, but there are still lots of guardian saplings that haven't blossomed. Alright. our second sun fragment that's good collect three of these to uh three of these bright fragments to extend solar energy by one unit nice i'm into it okay so we're ready to move on we've done everything there is to do right now in kimiki village we have that bulb thing but we can't do anything with it yet and we have something else the offering statues that i can't do anything with yet but everything else we've done let me just get all this food real quick because food is the best thing and then we're gonna get a pet because pets are also great Chop all this. Because I'm a dingus and I missed. There we go. Cool. And out we go. Onward. Actually, let's save it first and then onward. This is close to where we had to stop the playthrough previously. As you can see, four hours and eight minutes into this playthrough versus four hours and 21 minutes in the old one, because when we went to this next area, my Yeti microphone was um, was hecking up real bad. Uh, I'm not using the Yeti microphone anymore, which is why we're trying this playthrough again. So in this next area, guys, let me know if the audio starts messing up and if we can continue. Because if we can if we can continue, great. We're gonna we're gonna play through this game. If not, I have some other stuff on the back burner that we can bring out if we need to. But uh, this is the test upcoming of whether or not we can we can play this game. So, wish luck, chat. Wish luck. Can I just climb this? Yes. Yes, I can. Great. Okay. Don't be a jerk. I missed the jump. Uh, 
Thank you, Corn. I appreciate it. And a good reference, too. Well done. Need to get some ink back. <clears throat> This is a long waterway. Well, I guess that makes sense, because they had to use a ferry previously. Here's an etymology question for you, chat. Why do we in English use the same word for one who tends to horses and one who takes people from point A to point B. Both of those words are farrier. They mean very different things. But I'm wondering why we do it that way. Because I don't actually know. Yeah, we do it. Oh, we need to make a bomb. Very well. <sighs> I got a forest. It is a cursed zone. The cursed zone expanded into the forest? I thought evil would shun areas with so much grass and trees. It must really be some curse, the way it's changed the forest. Alright, so we need to find the guardian sapling. The guardian sapling will assist us. Or since I personally do not know, that's okay. If somebody does, I'm sure I'm not the only one who's curious. Oh, wow, we just have to search for it. It doesn't appear on the map. Okay. All right. Before we do anything, I want to find this guardian satellite. Not that way. We can go down here. No, we can't. Hum, 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 hum. Let me go this way. Here we go. This looks like something. What are you? Bomb. Bomb. Found the sapling. I do it. Wake up. Oh, come on. Wake up. Yeah. Best theme in the game. Hey, Hawk. Just in time. Just in time for pretty. Excuse me. Nice. That's my favorite part of the game, gonna be honest. That and feeding the animals. Everything else that I do is just to do that and feed the animals. Which is hilarious, I know, but it's true. Ooh, you obtained devout beads. A new divine instrument, guarded by a guardian sapling, eh? Wow, Saki is gonna spoil you at this rate. Anyway, this is gonna make your life a whole lot easier. The monsters are gonna try to get you any way they can, so you need to equip a good divine instrument and practice with it. 
But remember, there's more than simply equipping them. They can be equipped as a sub-weapon or a main weapon. A weapon's effect will differ depending on how it's equipped. You can even pull off some secret techniques with your sub-weapon. Even after your 100 year nap, you remember that much, right? I know you're not too bright. Hey! But no sweat. No thinking involved. Just try to equip that new divine instrument as a main weapon. Alright. Hey Zan, welcome in. Boop. Boop. Got the hang of it? Well, let me give you an example. You know that mirror of yours? Well, it acts as a shield when equipped as a sub-weapon. Nice. If you're under attack, press Y to guard with it. Oh, that's great. You should test it out on the monsters in this area. Oh, and one more thing. You remember what Sakia said, don't you? The sacred tree in Kimiki Village will bear a guardian fruit each time a guardian sampling is revived. Make sure to stop by Sakia's tree whenever you return to Kamiki. Nice. How are you, Zen? How's your day going? Good to have you. Bloom. Bye. Not great, but not bad. Seeds for the bunny. Ooh, seed. Grass for the bunny? Grass for the bunny. We do it. Still, uh, you're still sick. Feels like your head is full of flour. I'm sorry to hear that, dude. Hopefully you uh, you feel better soon. It's an interesting uh, metaphor. Feels like your head is full of flour. I don't think I've heard that one before. That's good though. I might I might pick that one up. That's that's a nice one. Now eat the rabbits, of Scott Smith. No. Rude. Rude, Scott Smith. Shame on you. Oops. Now we can explore the forest. What that? Oh, I forgot about this guy. <laughs> Cutscene. Hello, Waka. Hark! The color of the heavens, the earth, the sea. They summon me forth to defeat evil. Waka, the God's gift command is here. Bonjour. I... I... That... is a title, sir. I... I understand the significance of this character, but if you introduce yourself as literally the god's gift to man, I just want to smack you in the face. Like, good lord. Talmaster Waka. <laughs> yeah, I love Ethan. What's up with that guy? That crimson shaving and divine instrument on your back? You look kind of weird, but I reckon you pack a punch, baby. Hey! Think you're so special way up there, huh? Get down here and talk face to face! Wait, did he say Crimson Shading? Can he see Amy's true form? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, really? Oh, shit. Hey, he drew a sword, you think? We. Oui. This is how I get my point across, pun intended. The moment the cursed zone started spreading across Nippon, I saw the shadowy figure that removed the sacred sword Tsukiyomi flee into Kamiki Village and seal the entrance with a huge rock. You know anything about that? This guy gives me the creeps. Better keep your eye on him. Huh? Emmy? You getting all worked up again? 
magnifique. I wouldn't have it any other way. Now you shall get an earful of my beloved sword. Behold, pillow talk, really? Really? All right. All right. Let's rock, baby. All right. All right, Waka. We're doing this today. Have boom. I hacked it. Oh God, I'm in water. There's water there. Fun fact, there's water there. I hacked it again. Good job, kid. Do bomb. Why you not do bomb? Do bomb. Oh my god. Bomb. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I can't block that. Noted. Do bomb. Of course, can I get a hectic counter over here? No, you can't, but it, it is relevant. I can't put that up right now, but I might put it up on Tuesday. We'll see. It's been quite some time since I've tasted your power, Amaterasu. That's enough for now. Too late now, you're the one who picked the fight. <laughs> hey, wait, you know this guy, Amy? <laughs> well, that was pretty tactless. Excuse me, baby. You see, I was looking into that curse zone that struck this area. It consumed all in its path, even the light of the sun. It is the curse of Orochi, the legendary eight headed serpent. Uh, Orochi? Do not utter that name without reason. That alone can curse the weak of mind. Orochi was slain a hundred years ago by Nagi and Shiranui, and its evil spirit was sealed away in the moon cave, which I guarded. You know, the cave in the middle of the lake over on Shinshu Field. But someone has gone and freed Orochi by removing Tsukuyomi. Or Tsukuyomi, sorry. The beast evil has caused the curse zone to cover these lands. I never thought the sacred sword could be so easily removed. Whoever did it waited till I was back in the capital. It seems things are afoot that even I did not prophesize. <laughs> We're way ahead of you, pretty boy. We've been busy dispelling the curse left and right. That Orochi's gonna be mincemeat when we're through, when we're through with it. So, you're the ones who revived the trees in this area. But a lot of times pass since Orochi's return. You'd better pick up the pace, my chérie. What? I'm sorry to say, our battle just now was a big disappointment. You're not what you used to be, Amaterasu. You may have defeated Orochi long ago, but one cannot dwell on past glories. You have weakened greatly during your 100-year slumber. That's enough! He pulls his sword out. Now tell me about that shadowy figure you saw fleeing the Kamiki. How did we know it wasn't you? Relax, my little bouncing friend. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a little prophecy for you. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right. I can see into the future, you know. <sighs> then you should have seen that your outfit is incredibly out of date, Waka. I foresee a log and a big thrill. 
Congratulations? You'll know what I'm talking about when the time comes. Anyway, I must be off. The work of a prophet is never done. Au revoir, baby. Damn. Alright. What a freak! Thank you, Isu. We're all thanking it, but I'm glad somebody said it. <clears throat> Who the heck does he think he is? Waka, clearly. God's gift to mankind. Hey, wake up, Ami. We got work to do. I love how Am Amaterasu just does not give a single fuck. I'll take the 3400 yen, though. Ooh, I think we have enough to go back to the dojo, actually. I want to do a thing first. But then, yeah, I think we have enough money to go back to the dojo and get a new ability. And I want to get that, um, that dodge ability. What does this do? It's a treasure chest! You obtained glass beads. That these beads show no cracks is a testament to the artist's skill. Whoa. So those, those, uh, vessels are treasure chests. Good to know. Loot here. Come on, boop. You obtained Steel Soul Sake. Sake brewed with Spirit of Steel temporarily increases defense. There's a bunch of stuff to do here, but yeah, I'm gonna go to the dojo first, I think. This is the Switch version? No, this is the PC version. I already had the PC version and it was already downloaded. Sake brewed with the Spirit of Steel temporarily increases the attack power. Um, and frankly, I don't have the money to buy the Switch version. El elsewise, I'd be playing this on Switch. I didn't even know it was on Switch. I absolutely recommend the Switch version of this game. You obtained an Infinity Stone. Ink Stone with Limitless Source. Temporarily enjoy infinite ink. Ooh, that sounds good. All right, let's go up before we deal with this shrine and all this other crap. Let's go up and out and head back to the dojo. I wish we could fast travel, but we can't. There's a merchant here, too. That's pretty dope. We'll, we'll deal with that in a minute. We're going to head this way first. It was on sale for like nine bucks last week. Holy shnikes. Now I just need to find the other four infinity stones. Ha! Can't get that. Nothing back here. There's a deer, though. Hello, dear friend. If the new, um, excuse me. If the new, um, Wi Fi dongle doesn't fix it, doesn't fix my, my drop frames, I will probably switch to the, to the Switch version. And just spend a, a quick episode, or a quick uh, stream, catching up to where we are. Because playing this on the Switch controller sounds amazing. That sounds like something I would enjoy a lot. Thanks for the tip, Zen. Would you guys be against that? Would you guys be against uh, playing the playing the Switch version? Because if it's only like nine bucks, I might have to get that and play that for you guys. The Switch version is normally twenty bucks. Yeah. Watercolor block painting, oil brush, calligraphy, and stenciling. With these five paintings, it shall be beautiful. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm lost. Is this where we came in? It might be. Let's see if this is where we came in for science. 
Because I'm trying to get back to the dojo. <laughs> Zen says, oh, that bear. I hate that bear. Yeah, this is where we came at. Okay, great. The depths of my loathing for that bear in a stupid side quest, it's not that bad. But yeah, what, what, are you guys, what, what are you guys interested in? Would you guys be interested? Because over the, uh, like, over today and tomorrow, I can get the Switch version and, and catch up to this point pretty quickly. Um, would you guys be interested in seeing this on Switch, or would you guys be interested in, in just keeping going with this? Because the more I think about it, the more I want to do it. Since we're not that far into the game anyway. But, again, I want... I want to know what you guys want. Because at the end of the day, it's your show. Corrin says, the bear reminds me of one of the demon hearts in the game, Vex, for some reason. Probably a similar art style. There's a Switch version, I think. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm using the PC version with an Xbox controller right now, and if I had the option... If, I mean, I do have the option, but I mean, like, if you guys want my opinion, I would much rather switch, no pun intended, to the Switch controller, because I like it better. It's better on my hands. Um, any chance I have to play the Switch version, I'm gonna do it. Um... But again, only if you guys want it. I'm not gonna waste y'all's time and play through this again from the beginning if you guys just want me to keep going from here. It's entirely up to y'all. Jogat says, I mean, I would say go for the Switch, but if it doesn't cost you an arm and a leg and it won't ruin tons of progress, it'll ruin about five hours of progress and it'll cost me about 20 bucks, which I can swing. I can swing 20 bucks. That's not a big deal. It might even run me less than that. It might still be on sale. The reason that I'm, that I'm stopping and waiting for an answer is because we don't have too terribly long left uh, in this stream anyway. And I can just get the, the Switch version downloading if that's what people want me to do. Like, I, I don't mind at all. In the meantime, let's talk to this bro. So, you come again, my little lupine friend. Have you come to sharpen your skills? Yes. Increases the rate of attack of the rosaries. Nice, but let's get, yeah, you know, let's get this. Excuse me, dodge. I said, do what you wish. What I wish is for what chat wants. So, you want to get again? Choose to try your hand at the fighting arts. Excuse me. I suppose I have no choice. I do as you wish and allow you to enroll in my dojo. But I must warn you, I won't hold back this time. Aya. And then he spins his head around like a jerk. Wah. Are you mentally prepared to handle the ultimate challenge? Step inside to test your might. Okay. Let the lesson begin. We'll practice the fleet foot god technique. Take these tips to heart and remember them as we train. Fleet foot god technique. Press right trigger quickly and without hesitation. In doing so, you can quickly bound out of the way of incoming attacks. 
You will move in the direction you push the left stick. You can instantly execute a dash immediately following a jump. Press right trigger to quickly leap away from impending danger. Well, did you understand? Yes. I understand. I do understand. Thank you very much. I'll grant you this technique. This technique scroll. Check it when you forget what it means to be a warrior. You obtain technique scroll. This technique can only be mastered by the best. It is not something to become, something to be learned. You must have the innate ability. Train until your muscles ache, then train some more. You can do it immediately following a jump, but it's not letting me. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Dodge is a helpful thing. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Dodge is a helpful thing. Would you like to hear the tips again? Listen good this time, and remember what I say. Yes, yes, yes. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And my shield. So now we're proper defensive. I'm into it. Thanks. Had enough, eh? Listen, Wolf, gaining experience in a single skill is admirable. But you must never lose the drive for self-improvement. I pray that you do not forget that. like anybody has an opinion of the um of the switch version but nobody's speaking out against it either so i'm not hearing anybody say just keep playing um so i think i'm gonna switch to the to the switch version you obtained a spirit globe humanity's faith made solid restores one neuter to solar energy nice Now the question is, if I'm going to switch, if I'm going to switch to the Switch version, do you want me to keep going today with the frame drops and the bullshit for another 90 minutes or so? And then, cause like that's all I have in the stream today anyway, cause we have open dice night later tonight. So we can, we can keep going. Uh, or I can just go ahead and wrap up, get ready for Odeon, take it easy today, probably have a nap, and then grab the Switch version, download it, and spend tomorrow catching up to this point. And basically what I'll do is, if we do that, then on Tuesday, wherever I log out will be where I log in on the Switch version for the stream. So you guys won't miss a thing. If I keep going today, I can't promise that we won't have to backtrack on stream. So again, it, 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 it's what you guys want to do. I'm fine to keep... I'm fine to keep going despite the frame drops and the other annoyances. But it's ultimately what y'all want. I buy. Get down from there. What? Get down from there. Why do you not work like half the time? 
got him. Yeah, no, Joe. I'm I'm I've been sitting at six percent drop frames or more the entire stream. Um, and it's just because Hearthstone really doesn't like it when I try to stream a game and play the game on PC, which is why I've been using my PS4 and my Switch a lot. Um, I've got computer upgrades in my in my October fundraiser list, but yeah, the frame drops are partially because my Wi-Fi is dying, uh, and I should have a new Wi-Fi thing coming tomorrow, already paid for and on its way, and part of it is because Hearthstone really doesn't like it when I try to play a PC game. That's one of the reasons I'm considering switching to the to the Switch uh, in the first place. Because I don't have this problem when I game on a console and stream on my PC. So yeah, if it's all the same to you guys, I think I'm just going to go ahead and wrap the stream. And I'll be back on Tuesday with Okami with the Switch version. And then that will hopefully put this frame drop bullshit to bed. And then in the meantime, I'll take today, make some food, relax, maybe have a nap. I'll be back this evening at 6 p.m. with uh, Godbound. We'll, we'll do uh, Shy Shades. The start of Shy Shade's um, open dice night playthrough. And then we'll go from there. Hopefully that will clear everything up. Uh, that's the plan, at least. If that's cool with you guys, I'm just going to go ahead and close this out. Um, I enjoy Okami. I do. But the technical difficulties and the fact that there's a cheap Switch version, I'm all for that. So I think we're going we're gonna to clean some stuff up and go from there. I don't do an outro when I end early, especially this early, but fuck these frame drops, man. Just, ugh. So, I will see you guys later this evening. Hopefully you guys will be here if you like tabletop role-playing games, or if you don't know if you like tabletop role-playing games. In the meantime, remember, there's always more stories to tell. And hopefully I will see you guys next time for whatever the future holds in a new chapter. See you in a little bit, guys, I hope. And if not, I hope to see you again soon.